worse you're than walking. walking in an active you're a moving vehicle. The vehicle. You're in a moving you vehicle. Did, you did it on purpose. You're in a moving vehicle. You did it on purpose. You hit me in a car. Yeah. So you're in a car. So I'm walking. Don't touch my phone. Then give me my phone. Give me my phone back. You don't have to I need 911 calls. I need 911 calls. Okay, I'll call them no. right now. Yeah, they do it. No, Watch, you're touching. That's a $500 mirror, I didn't touch a friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Ma'am, I sat and watched you. I, I wouldn't. And you, and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Ma'am, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm going to back up. I'm... Welcome back to the channel. This is GB Speaks Facts, and today I'm here to speak some facts the fact that today is you my karen hunting squad you are amazing thank you for all the support and hunting all these vile creatures and helping me calling them out for the bs attitude that they have if you want to join this karen hunting squad just punch that subscribe button in the face and give that like button a kick in the chin i heard it was talking smack about you but now that you have done that and we showed them who's boss let's just start the video Karen's detective skills are unmatched. She saw a black lady on a bicycle delivering a package and decided it looked suspicious enough to be a drug deal. I was just giving you a head back. Listen, ma'am, you should just do hair testing Why are you doing it here? Because I can. It's a public park. It's a public park. Do you own the park? Can people pick up here? It's just a pickup. Okay. It looks like a drug deal. I don't care what it looks like. Call the police. I pay $50,000 in taxes. I pay my mortgage. So this do is how it at your house. Lady, if that's your house, to. do it at your house. If there's a problem, okay. tell someone. Okay. Thank you. I was trying to give you a heads up. Get a heads up. Okay, Thank you. Good. Here, girl. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. For the hair services. I appreciate it. Thank you, love. I will. Right. Thank you. People don't go around every day. People parking well, yes, here. I'm telling you, you don't see what I just You know what? I'm just no, saying. Sir, I have a legit business. I pay fifty thousand dollars in taxes. Okay. Well, people pay. and people are talking about the girl on the bike well, that's stealing right. drugs. Well, I would like you to not do it here. The work okay, so at face value, I can see that she would think that it's a drug deal since you know the way drug deals go down typically can be like this. But after you clearly see that she is selling hair, the conversation should stop right there. Who cares what it looks like, Karen? You confirmed what it was. Move on with your miserable 30 cats in your house. Like, remember, guys, she tried. Workers at the store were on a mission to get the laptop guy arrested for sitting with a drink and taking up space, even though there were plenty of empty seats. Fortunately, the cops showed up and didn't fall for their ridiculousness. I made a purchase. I'm an actual customer of McDonald's no, now. No, and I'm not allowed to stay? No. For what reason? Because we have a vote no loitering. So it's loitering since I got a drink and I'm hanging out drinking my drink. All right, I'll give you 15 more minutes, but then you gotta go. Then can I have my money back for the drink since I'm not even allowed to have it in the store? I'm not even allowed to have my own drink that I paid for in the store at the store. You know how crazy that sounds? Like, I get it. Like, if I was, like, disturbing people here or, like, you but know, that we have no issue. place for the customers to sit when you're... What about this table, that table, that table, that table, that table, that table? There's, like, 15 open tables. I'm not, like... I'm not talking to you. I'm actually just talking to her, so... Well, there's nobody here. It's so... It's This is, like... But you understand, you right? You can't order in other people's parking lots, can you? I'm not... I'm not in your parking lot, I'm in your store, and I bought a drink. Uh, I'm gonna give you 30 more minutes and you got go. Okay, so what happens at minute 29 if I go buy a, a small french fry? How much more time does that allow me to be in your store? I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing, I'm just asking you a question. If you're the supervisor, I'd expect no, you to ask- I'm not supervisor, I'm just a shift lady. Oh, well, I asked for the supervisor. Supervisor's not here. Oh, well. What's going on, guys? Sorry to waste your guys' time like that. It is what it is, man. Yeah, it's so bad. ID on you at Wagon Doctor now. I spoke with you. Yeah, do you need, need to actually run this for anything, or? Yeah, I just, just I have to check it. Just uh, document. We have to document everything. To do. Yeah. You know, it just goes into like a CAD system. It's not like you're getting in trouble or anything. It's just like if I haven't like 
committed a single crime, like, why do I have to give an ID for anything? We're investigating that, so that's just part of that. Cool. Yeah, I thought it was weird. I, she said, she's in that red truck. I'm like, it looks almost like an ambulance truck. You know? What? A lot of stuff is just, I feel calling a disorderly customer. I've had KFC call in on a disorderly customer, uh, but he wouldn't do anything disorderly. He's just sitting there. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, that's why. You know? I don't understand, but, yeah. It is what it is. I mean, it just... I'm just pissed that they made me buy a drink and then still kick me out. Yeah. But that's what pisses me off. Go ahead. Yeah, it don't make any sense at all. We'll get out of your hair, man. Be uh, safe. Yeah, sorry you guys had to, you know, waste your time. No, you're good, man. It's this is a golden case of what I mean when I say Karen's just waste officers times and taxpayer dollar. If you are applying this rule to him, you need to apply it to everyone in the store. Plus, we can clearly see other seats are open. She should only be doing this when the restaurant is either full or close to being full. I would just say buy a burger every 15 minutes just so you can stay at, you know 15 minutes longer, whatever the case is, based on her idiotic rule. Karen just can't resist sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. She's going after a guy accusing his kids of creating noise pollution. Give it a break, Karen. You know what? You should be good to get this in there talking about children. I am going to keep it up. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go ahead, call him. Oh, call him. You want to look dumb because this is a war star right now. I'm how dumb you are right now. You sound dumb telling me my kids are making too much noise. Noise pollution. You sound, you sound ignorant. You sound like a fool. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, because she's going to talk about because they were playing. That is noise pollution. She's going to call the police. Go ahead. You sound dumb. Thank you, sir. You didn't ask enough. Thank you, sir. You know what really grinds my gears? The calm face some of these Karens have when they are just making other people's lives miserable. Like, I don't know how these kids were being loud or if they were, but if you expect silence when you're eating, then you need to eat at home. It's very simple. Expect sounds of others when you're in public with others. I think this lady is stuck in the Jim Crow era or something like that. Karen used her cart to break a mirror on a car in the parking lot, and now she's playing the victim card like a pro, pretending she didn't do it. Watch you. It's a five hundred dollar mirror, man. I ma didn't touch your friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Ma'am, I sat and watched you. I I wouldn't. And you and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Ma'am, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm you... gonna back up. You, did, you just came up to me. I went like this. You just back came... up. You just walked up to me. I went up to here. Ma'am, you just took my mirror off with your cart. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Look at the cart. It's the same exact height. I watched you. And, I and then you came up to me. I did not by your mirror. I did because you couldn't get by your mirror. Then you got stuck you on it. Over here? Because you got stuck on it, man. I didn't get stuck. I didn't get stuck on it. I stopped right here. And if yeah. I did anything, And if you would grab the cart, it is the exact height of where you got stuck on no, my it mirror, man. It happened last week. It happened just now. No, I was I, I was sitting in my driver's seat, man. I can't. It's pieces of shit like this that makes insurance so expensive in some areas. Like newsflash, the more claims made, the more expensive the insurance is for everybody. So if you've ever seen a POS like this damaging cars and trying to run off, videotape them and snitch to the highest order so it comes out of their pocket and not yours. Karen just hit someone with her car in the parking garage and then she had the audacity to point fingers at the innocent victim and blame her. I'm a person walking. In an active You're a moving vehicle. The You're in a moving you vehicle. Did it, you did it on You're purpose. in a moving vehicle. You did it on purpose. You hit me in a car. Yeah. So You're in a car. So I'm walking. Don't touch my phone. Then give me my phone. Then you don't have give right me my phone, phone back. You don't have the right I need 911 calls. I need 911 calls. Okay, I'll call no. him right now. Yeah, the, you, no, you're touching me. Why are you touching me? Because you're in Why the are you yeah. touching me? I need I need the cops called, please. I no, she just hit me with her car. Now she's trying to leave. No, she I'm just gra she just snatched my phone, grabbed it from me, pulled it away from me. Spot. She hit me with my leg. 
Exactly, that's not a parking spot. No, well, I that's not a because she just hit me with her vehicle. And she I just hit me with her vehicle. Yeah. She hit my leg. She, and she, she tried to leave. Because she was walking across the open garage and I was trying to go around her and she went like this. And oh no, car. I did not. Yeah. I did not do that. Why why would I want to get hit by a car? Why would I want to? Why would I pick my leg? Why would because I want to get hit by a vehicle, ma'am? I was walking across, and you just hit me. And you didn't. And, because and I wanted to take my time. As soon as you because I wanted to take my time and cross, and you hit you me with your vehicle. When there were cars coming in both directions. So you're you saying that purpose. you hit me with your vehicle on purpose? No, I did you're, not. Yeah, you did. No, I did not. You just hit me on no. purpose, no. Margarita. This lady just hit me in the car with. She hit me with her car. Yeah. And then she's she trying to leave. I was she by. snatched my phone right now and she because broke the snap-off. Because you don't have the authorization. I don't care. Me. I have the see, authorization but, to send me wherever I'd like. Oh, but it's against no. to hit me with your car. No. You but, just hit me with your car and that's against yeah, the law. You went like this. Boom, I, I, did, I did what? What did I do? You what did I do? What did I do? I'm not going to show you on film. So, so she's just saying that I wanted to get hit by her car. That's what she's saying. No, you were saying you were, you were having you need a paramedic. No, I don't need a paramedic, but I need a I need a police officer because I need to file a police report. I need to file a police report. I'll call, I'm calling right now. Good job, Karen. Assaulting the girl by taking her phone after assaulting the girl by hitting her with your car. This is going to work so well when you get arrested and have to give your side of the story, which is going to be on camera, so I know why she grabbed it, but it's not going to help your case since it was being recorded. She looks like one of those pompous, bougie, rich people, and that's good because she's going to need to prepare to add a couple of more zeros on her new insurance premium. I think if we were to round up all the Karens together, which would be impossible because there's too many, and we would give them one title that they have in common, it would have to be entitled. Go watch any of my Karen videos on this channel and tell me the commonality isn't entitlement. The only thing they are entitled to is 30 cats in their lonely home so they can sit there in their misery while sniffing all that cat piss. And maybe that's why they're going crazy. It's probably the cat piss. I, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys think about any of these Karens that I spoke about in this video and what you would do in that situation. And take a look at these other videos on the channel for more Karen madness while I put my hunting paint on and get back to hunting these Karens for you guys. So GB's out this bitch. Peace.